Currently, what are the problems with getting the gas from these from this formation? Is it too low extraction at the moment? The rates yes. are very low, very uneconomic. Yes, the rates that are uh, that we get from this type of formations right now are many times uneconomic. Uh, so our goal then is to make this economic by generating uh, innovative technology. Uh, so by creating technology we, we, we think that uh, we are going to be able to produce significant volumes of gas. They are economic because of this. The way the wells are being completed is in such a way that these formations with very low permeability are being produced with formations that have large permeability. So the combination of that makes it economic. We estimate then that this is going to be growing. The contribution from the low permeability is going to be growing significantly. That's at the, at the, at the level of, of Alberta. So let me give you two numbers that will help to uh, highlight the significance of this. Right now, uh, the estimate for Canada is that the proven gas reserves are in the order of 58 trillion cubic feet. That's proven gas. We have estimated that from tight formations, the recoverable gas will be in the order of 105 trillion cubic feet. Okay. Double. Basically double. And how we have done this research uh, is something that we are going to unveil at the World Petroleum Congress that will be held in three weeks in Madrid, Spain. So we have a publication in there with some other professors of the university, Dr. Krauss from uh, the Department of Geoscience, uh, Dr. Harding, from, uh, which is our head in the, our department here at the Schulich School of Engineering, uh, with Roberto Aguilera, uh, who at the time when we were doing this was at the Catholic University of Chile, and myself. So we are four people that are going to be unveiling this work, showing all this potential. This other, Dr. Aguilera, how is he related to you? He's my son. Uh, he has a PhD in energy economics. So a lot of the work that is related really to the economics is done by him. Right. And a lot of the technical work, then I, I work on that part. This technology that we are developing, we are estimating that it's going to be exportable because the resource base, the, the potential gas in this kind of formations throughout the world is gigantic. At the World Petroleum Congress, we are going to unveil our estimate we, for the world, which is in the order of 15,000 trillion. And that's a huge, huge, huge number. 15,000 trillion cubic feet. Yeah. And it sits in rock formation all over the world. When do you think your technology will become available? Well, this, this initial uh, uh, program that we have developed uh, is a five-year program. As we are developing this, we have the indication from some companies uh, here in Alberta that they will work with us in drilling some pilot wells where we are going to test some of our ideas. We are uh, very optimistic that a lot of these things that we are doing are going to work. And once these things work, then it will be a matter of simply continuing, continuing. And the success that we are going to have in here, the way we see it then is going to expand to success in other places around the world where, we have, where they have the same type of formations, but not the technology to develop it. When are you going to launch the first pilot project? We are estimating that within the next uh, four years, we'll be doing that first the pilot project. Years. Yeah, in four years, yeah. The, the companies that are uh, coming, that have told us that probably they will working with us, uh, one of those, of course, is the creator of 
our chair, which is uh, ConocoPhillips. But uh, there are some other companies that have shown interest. And uh, right now is conversation, so I, I, I wouldn't want to, to release their names. But uh, definitely the interest is there because of the resources. So on that note, thank you, Dr. Aguilera. This was a most interesting interview. Thank you very much for your invitation. And I hope you have a great time in Calgary. Yeah.